So look, bro. Uh, we got them 60 days in back. I told y'all last video that we is gonna be back with the uh with the throwback videos. If this is your first time over here, what up? My name is DJ Ghost. Um, I live in Vegas right now. My social security number is five. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, but if it's your first time over here, bro, 60 days in is something like six zero days in, 60 days in. It seems like I'll be rushing that. But look, the six zero days in. It's basically like you, bro. You go up to some program, you like, hey, jail don't look that tough. I volunteer. And they be like, you show. You be like, yeah. They're going to give you some papers. You got to fill out the documents. They're going to tell you what jail you're going to go to. And you're going to have to do that 60 days. That too much. Well, you don't have to do it because most of the time people think they can survive jail in a program. Then after 14 days, they hitting the red button ready to go home like this is too much. One dude said, how can jail be so hard? You don't have to pay no rent. You, you get three square meals a day. You don't have to worry about no bills. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but anyway, we got them back. One thing I want to ask y'all in the comments. What's the best videos on this channel that y'all like? Because y'all know we do all genres. Joe Skate go, 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 on top. I almost I said Joe but anyway, 10,000 likes would be dope. We finna get straight into this video. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I haven't seen one in like eight or nine months, so I'm happy to do this one. Get to my vlog channel, DJ Goes Vlogs. Let's go. Me up, man. It's really up to you if you want your mission to end here. Do you want your mission to end here? It's not worth it. My mental state of mind ain't worth it because the f how they asking him do we want his mission to end here but he served 13 years is this a participant or is this an inmate is this an inmate that got out trying to <laughs> i hope this is not an inmate that did 13 years bro you did 13 years in prison now you want to go back and volunteer volunteer for 60 days that's not cool <laughs> I mean, you ain't doing nothing. Either you ain't doing nothing with your life after already serving 13 years, or you miss jail that much, you'll do anything to get back. You finna go to the 60 Days In program. That's too weird to me. I ain't, I ain't know. First that tries me here, I'm gonna hurt if he puts his hands on me or Cat. just tries me the wrong way or disrespects me. I just feel the tension. And that's how I was when I was locked up before. You gotta be on edge. You gotta you gotta have that tension. But here, if I do anything to anybody first, I'm gonna be charged. And am I and am I tapping out right now? I really wanna go home. So you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did all that. I'm really gonna kill somebody. I'm really gonna So you really gonna wanna go home? Yeah. All this just told me with this whole little rant that he had just now. Him serving 13 years in prison and him ready to go home. Me and them whole 13 years in prison was rough for my boy. He was up in there getting ran. You mean to tell me you did 13 years in prison? When you come home, you don't go to jail because you do something wrong. You didn't commit no crimes. You voluntarily want to do the 60 days in the county jail. That's not even prison. In the county jail. And you still want to go home early? From 60 days in the county when you did 13 in the pen? Something ain't adding up. He was washing drawers. I'm not lying. He was washing drawers, uh, taking people they trades. I, I'm a, I stereotype people. People stereotype me. This is bringing out a part of me that I didn't like. You know, <laughs> that's why I changed. So yeah. I know a buster yeah, when I, I see what I, I promise you. Program. I gotta go home before I lose myself again. I thought this would be a cakewalk, but... Look how much he pleading, though. Look how much he trying to make his point. I'm telling you, bro, is scary. He's scared as shit. The mental, the mental anguish I'm experiencing is something else. I don't like the way I've been feeling lately. Okay. We'll, we'll book you out as soon as we can. Okay? Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I believe in myself. I know myself. I've been through a lot. I believe you're a lot. buster. That's the only thing I believe Coming in here, I didn't think that there was nothing that can happen within this facility to break me. And I believe I can get through anything, right? But this is something on a whole nother level. This it's the county. was like a mental hospital. This was some of the hardest time I had to do psychologically. 
How was some of that the hardest time you had to do psychologically? For one, you wasn't forced to go to jail. When you forced to go to jail, bro, meaning when you get caught, you miss the weed, you miss the females, your kids, the food, just the freedom, bro. My guy, you volunteer in a 60 days in program in a county jail. You serve 13 years in the prison. If you got out of prison with your mental and you cool enough and straight enough and alert enough to sign up for the county jail to 60 days in or whatever the case, bro, how did this couple weeks mess up? I'm not getting it, bro. Y'all can't see the cap in this? Bro, how much do y'all pay them? This is, take your ass home. How you guys doing? Big nose ass. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. scared. I'm happy I'm out. A little bit sooner than expected, huh? <laughs> I'm a bitch, huh? <laughs> that's what he just said, bro. That, that's sooner than expected, me. That's why he laughed. When you laugh at your own joke, it's something wrong. Well, I get to something wrong with me because I laugh at my own jokes all the time. But still, I'm different. I'm a ghost. I'm not even a real person, bro. He a real person. His nose is fat like like a bike jump, it go like this. Look at the, like you can see the incline and then a dip and then like a Nike sign. Look at yeah. his nose, bro. Bam. It's a little bit sooner than expected, huh? <laughs> you be lying. That's another thing, that's why your nose so damn big. In three more months, he's not gonna be able to see. His nose grew. In the beginning of that interview where he's saying, I know what I'm gonna do to my I can't hold that. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> hey, it is Buster. Hold on. That's why I quick. How you guys doing? How you doing? I'm good. It's a little bit sooner than expected, huh? That's <laughs> good. Yeah. That's why I quit crime a long time ago, I guess. Why? Me and Carlos are really close. He's helping me hustle up my store or helping me grow in some way. That's my dog. Is he getting you the coat the too? The day, <laughs> if I know one of those when I see him. I swear up for him. I'll speak it if I have to. You know me? That's what I, I have a secret ammunition right here, like on the side pocket, which is a goon. And my goon is Nick. Hold on, that's it. There's always that one person you gotta feed to make happy and he'll do what you want. If Nick is your goon, bro, you are in trouble. You know what I'm saying? And I think he got the wrong definition of a goon. Because he said he feeds me, huh? Oh. Speak if I have to. You know me? I have a secret ammunition right here, like on the side pocket, which is a goon. And my goon is Nick. Hold on. <laughs> There's Man. always that one person you gotta feed to make happy and he'll do what you want. Bro getting beat up in the county for real. Nick see his big homie getting beat up, then what is Nick? You know what I'm saying? If I was to go in that county jail, no lie, hey, I think I'm gonna do it 60 days in. I'm not they don't do them out here though. I'm about to really look it up. I'm gonna do it 60 days in, bro. On my mama, I wanna do one of those. But look. If I walked in the county, it uh, he said, "Yeah, this my little homie. With this my goon." If he approached me and like, "This my goon," I look at him and look at bro like, "Y'all not no goons, bro. You gonna have to prove that." Like, <laughs> don't walk up to me saying, "Hey, what up? This whoopy whoop and this my goon." Just address me as y'all names, bro. Cause when you say it's a goon, that means you trying to give me some kind of tip or trying to hint me on something. Like I'm him and that's him, or he. You know what I'm saying? I don't see how they getting this 60 days in, bro. Please do this in the LA County jail. None of them surviving. Is that a female? The inmates of the Jason Isolation Pod have been being very consistent. Annoying, bro. Let me tell you this. No, I never been to the pen, all right? But in the jail, in the county jail, the most annoying thing in the world. All right, to where niggas want to beat you up in the morning, like when they when you go to child to the day room or something. Let me tell you, 
you have somebody in their cell. Bro could be missing his girl. He could be having withdrawals. He just... Something going on up in there. Anyway, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Ah! Boom, 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 boom. Hey, shut the... Who mans is that? Hey, he did. did. This is what he do. I'm singing Marilyn Monroe. I'm walking down to the store. It starts singing, bro. Four minutes after that. I'm, but they got trying to go to sleep. <laughs> who, I don't even care. I'm, who man is this? Like, I'm trying to go to. All 50 people hear it. The CEOs. They ain't finna say nothing sometimes. You gotta. I promise you, bro. That's this situation they're having right now. That's the situation they're having right now. This changes the mentality and well-being of the people in my pod. She's beating and beating and beating. That's one thing you never do. Look what she just said. Look what she just said. Look what she this just changes said. the mentality and well-being of the people in my pod. I'm about to go push the button. You are labeled a snitch in jail if you do that. Basically, inside the day room, they got a button. Some be red, some be blue, some be black. Police like to write little signs like, <laughs> I promise you, a CEO on top of the button, in the pen, he'll be like, if you're scared for your life, push this button. <laughs> like, I promise you, be clowning. But anyway, it's like a panic button. Somebody up in there bleeding, somebody pull out the shank, somebody scared for their life, somebody want to tell. You push that button, the CEO's on the other side come in a room, see what's going on, clear. That's considered a snitch, bro. It is. Because the county, the women county She's jail, beating I don't think and beating it's and beating. Like I'm absolutely beyond pissed about this. It just took me to a place that I didn't want to be. Tell me, she gonna run across the right one. <laughs> Man, that <laughs> I feel in my heart Annoying. that I'm breaking into an altercation with an inmate. Annoying, and I don't want to be that way. You tap out. Why? Well, there's a lot of factors involved as to why. And uh, I gotta hear it when is. I speak about my experience, I would think that corrections and the treatment of inmates has evolved in a better way in this country prior to when I was last incarcerated. And Just say I'm scared, bro. The inmates back then is way worse than the inmates. What did this fool just say? Just say you scared, bro. Using all these big words and then you got, who is that? You, you, <clears throat> you tap out. And this Kevin Samuel looking at us. Well, there's a lot of factors involved as to why. And uh, you got it, when I speak about my experience, I would think that corrections and the treatment of inmates has evolved in a better way in this country prior to when I was last incarcerated. Bro, you did 13 years. Why do you care? This is all capped to cover up that he's scared. I'm telling y'all, everything y'all finna hear is probably true. I was up in jail 13 years ago. I go to jail today. It's not the same. It, whatever words he was using, they still treating inmates bad. He's about to blame it on the system on why he want to go home. But that's not the reason. Bro was just scared. His heart beats before he wake up, when he go to sleep, when he walk around. Bro was just scared. He did 13 years for stealing cars and burning them in front of the police departments or something. He didn't go for no real crime. I'm so I can see it. I can see it, bro. And coming to your facility, I see that it hasn't. What I experienced in your facility. facility was cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> First, I want to say that nutrition is very important. But in your facility, I received milk one time. No fresh fruit. In I understand this, bro. I understand this. You're in jail. It's supposed to be like that for one. For two, he's lying. All right? You get three meals, and they got a certain amount of fruits and vegetables they got to feed the inmates, bro. For three, on the outs, nigga, you know you're not drinking no milk every day. Why do you care that you ain't getting up in there every day? He's making up excuses, bro. I know this type. 
He blaming it on the system. He going to blame it on the TV show. He blame, I don't want to hurt nobody. He's saying everything, but I'm scared. Because when it first came on, he said he want to leave because he can't control himself. He know he's going to end up hurting somebody. Now you up here talking to this cat with Samuels looking ass, and now you want to say, uh, yeah, I don't give enough milk, the nutrition. Which one is it, bro? You scared. You straight scared. In Prisons all over that I've been to, every day you had milk, sometimes twice a day. There were always fruit available, whether it's canned or fresh fruit. That's vital for the growth and development of an individual, especially a young man coming in your facility. Man, you don't care, care bro. Shut up. What I hear you say. I think that that's the crux of the matter here, quite frankly. Freedom. It is a jail. Exactly. That, that's number one. It's not a Marriott. It's not a residence inn. It's your narrator. It is something. a jail. <laughs> these are like a narrator. I so when people say that these things should be happening once you're incarcerated, I'm just being honest with you. I don't. Right. Oftentimes, jail is an upgrade because you're going to get three meals a day. You're going to get medical assistance. You're going to... I just told y'all that in the beginning. I saw some dudes look at it, bro. Three square meals a day. You ain't gotta pay no bread. You ain't gotta pay no bills. You get free, like medical, you said, dental, and um, the hospital. You get everything free, bro. And a lot of people think it's a free ride just because they give it to you. Nah, bro, you getting everything free because you finna go through it up in here. You know what I'm saying? And every month, not every year, every month. Look it up. The prison get a certain amount of money for every inmate up in there, bro. Every inmate up in there, so the least they can do is go ahead and give you medical and free food and all that. Because I promise you, the food that they give you every month don't amount to the money they get for you every month. You're not going to the dentist every month. You're not going to the doctor every month. So they're going to give you the free medical. You know what I'm saying? That's the least they can do have oversight you're going to have someone to intervene when someone is actually coming inside of your space you feel me on that i do feel you people say be tough on these criminals don't let them live you're good scared. or anything like Shut that up. you want somebody to act like a human being you treat them like a human being you want respect you give respect you treat somebody like an animal they're going to act like an animal Baby, it's, it's, it's I chill, bro. It's I don't do that. Yeah, most people are not figuring to speak. I don't do this. I don't. I'm not most people. Free. Nobody saying you work. I don't like Brianna. <laughs> Why are you tripping? I'm not tripping. There's one in here tripping. I'm okay. You may be okay, but there's other people that don't. I mean, okay. Brianna sits at the Female table and the whole be conversation just kept it's just picking dumb and boring. picking and picking. But nobody wants to say anything. I'm taking in it and it's just, it's not sick. The thing about the female prisons, bro, in the jails is um, they ain't got them gang banging politics. You can go up in there and kick it with anybody you want, wear whatever. I mean, uh, eat with whoever, chill with whoever. Like, that's how it is up in there. But at the same time, you got a building full of females that's going to have that thing every month. And you know what I mean? They're going to be randomly tripping. Some of them are going to be cool with it. With that being said, bro, women's jail got to be one of the most boring, tedious, annoying places in the world. I'm not even lying to you. I'm not even lying Didn't to you. well with me. Because yeah. I could not. If I was a female, I wouldn't even want to go there. Being here and being around females and seeing the same faces, the unfamiliar faces, I don't even want to see So She you says jail, that be um, I'm tired of all these women, especially women that I even agree to be in the pod with. And when she said that, it's when I got very angry. Georgia, Georgia, you get it. Georgia, get it. I don't. Well, that's what I do. I don't give a about none of them. This was dudes they would have been for. Oh, I do any damage. I'm going to the Because I feel it coming down, I'm going to beat the out of Okay. And that's how you know this ain't in men's jail. Because if I'm sitting right there and she tell me, before I do any damage to you, I'm going to go upstairs, I would have fired on her. And this would have been like that with like 80% of the other inmates that was up in jail, bro. All they going to do is argue, 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 argue. You ain't got no, it, it, it's no big homies in there. See, up in, up in women's jail, this is how it work. Up in men's jail, you got the big homie, you got the OG, you got the cell rep and all that, right? Up in women's jail, 
It's not the gang banging. They call families, all right? So you're going to have a mama up in there. You're going to have an auntie up in there. You're going to have a sister, the goddaughter, the godmama. I'm not lying to y'all. That's, uh, that's how women jails work. Some of them. This one, I could tell, was not like that. Because old girl would have been somebody's sister up in there, and she would have had a mama, and the mama would have been checked her about coming at people sideways like that. Some jail, women's jail is just weird. It's real, real weird to me. It is. It is. Okay. I felt myself. All females. Shaking, and that was my adrenaline getting so high because I'm pissed. You know, I'm pissed. You having an attitude for nothing. I mean, what I said that to do the bitch. All that if you talk about you the man. Bitch, I'm gonna stop your that bitch the Now she laughing. <sighs> this is how it is with females, bro. All of them gonna talk mess, 99% of them. But probably only 15% of them have been in fights. They just need to be socked one time and they would look, they would reevaluate their whole life. I could tell old girl downstairs is not a squabbler like that. The black lady upstairs, I'm kind of iffy on. It's, it's, I'm kind of jaded. I can't judge her yet. But by her clapping while she's yelling, showing me she's not about that. She know that she in jail. She feel like she going to pump her chest out. But as soon as she get beat up, I don't care if she there for six months, nine months, or two years, she not coming at nobody else sideways like that. I stereotype. Y'all should do the same. You, you a lay Bitch, I'm gonna stop the out of you. Okay. You okay. Right yeah, see that? These don't let you talk. But bitch, I'm gonna what? You talking too, though. Bitch, I'm a bell. I can come with you. Why are you getting to the draw? You're irrelevant. In the women's jail, I mean in the men's jail, you probably got 30 other inmates listening to these two dudes argue. All 30 of them, like they both busters. They gonna try both of them. Because you woofing, she woofing. You saying you gonna do this, she saying whatever, and ain't nobody gonna bust a grape. When you in jail, bro, it ain't a look, you can't fake act hard. That's why they tell you, when you go in there, please be you. Because you're going to get tried, bro. Don't go in there thinking you're the toughest. But don't go in there as no buster either. Stay to yourself. Don't let nobody try you. Give respect to everybody, but don't take no respect from nobody, bro. I'm no disrespect for nobody. I mean, I'm telling you. This right here yelling all over the pot and nobody move, both busters. Keep it in 100. We in jail. We ain't outside. We ain't at school. When you in jail... When you in jail, the way you talk is the way you move. You better move. And I'm shaking. Tell and me. my adrenaline just wants me to run and downstairs you and choke the hell out of her. <laughs> her taper's so serious. No matter. But I can't because it's my cover. And if I get more time, then what am I here for? Oh, that makes more sense now. That makes more sense now. The way her taper is, I think she would have fought. I know y'all like ghosts. That's not how you gonna tell them. I stereotype, bro. I ain't gotta explain everything to a T. The way her taper is, she would have fought. You know what I'm saying? Old girl downstairs is really locked up. She's the participant, so she's trying to pull back. I get it now. I just don't get old girl downstairs. Well, I get it too. She's scary. She's scary. <laughs> Where is Henry County Joe at? I'll run that. <laughs> Don't even lie, bro. I'm going to fight the first three days and then my next 57 will be cool. Another inmate tells me there was a shank in the dorm. Why is and oh, I go snap. and I tell Nick, like, yo, bird is getting around. Why is bro 
why is bro so nervous telling it's so scary that it's a shake in the dorm? Why? You're in jail, bro. That's supposed to happen. And if you're a participant of 60 Days In, you're in jail, bro. That's supposed to happen. You're not snitching to the CEOs, which you will be a buster. You're not waiting until you see people at a TV show to tell them, like, I don't feel safe. you telling another inmate, hey, the youngster upstairs have the shake in the door. You don't need to be there because you can get shot. And then these 60 days in participants. There's a shank in the dorm, you know, just giving your heads up. That kind of. For future references, he the big homie, and that's his goon. The little white boy with the red jumpsuit. For future references, all right, listen to me. Listen to me. If you never seen somebody that's trying to uh, little homie you make no moves out here trying to make you do something, don't do it. If you never seen no big homie, I mean, your big homie put in no work, you not his little homie no more. Bro calling him his goon, calling him his little homie, I bet you he never bust a grape up in there, bro. Your little homie harder than you. I would have... I'm not lying. When I would have went to this my goal, no, it ain't. Would have told him straight to his face. What you mean it ain't? Cause I said it ain't, nigga. Like what? I could tell him when I, I, I could tell him when I see him. I kind of pushed, kind of pushed Nick to handle it. He was like, okay, because I feed him. Because I feed him. What kind of jury is this? Why are everybody telling? The chief said there's potentially weapons in my jail. Well, guess what? You got one now. Well, guess what? You got one now. Boss. My guy, you can't see him hide that. Uh, you, bro don't know it's a camera right there? How can these, man, I don't know what's up with this 60 days. And another thing, bro, why do the home door, the whole dorm know you got a shank? Just throw it away. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know you got it. It's that, what kind of jail is this? It's like they picked the softest jail to do 60 days in it. I'm not even lying, bro. This is kind of, it's kind of Mickey. <laughs> this is Mickey. You Give me that you dumb, bro. I just told you, give me, nah, chill, chill. Get up, stop, get up, stop. The moment I see that shank. Yeah, this ain't LA County. <laughs> There's no way you can have two races, two different races pressing a black dude over a broomstick. Nobody come in there? Nobody? They ain't a part of no. <laughs> the size, half the size of my arm. I take it. It look like a damn sword. Like Buffy the Vampire Slayer type yeah. This old oh, square. Get up in my room, throw it in the garbage. You don't want to keep it for yourself? You in jail, bro. Oh, CEO having it. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Oh, boy that he took the shank from is scary. He a butt. Look, look, look. He's scary. He ain't no buster. The reason why I say he's scary, that's the reason why he got the shank. I tell y'all all the time, a scary person to kill you quicker than a person that's with it. You back him up in the corner? Yeah. But anyway, bro got to jail, made him a shank. Anybody run up on me, I'm going to do him. Then you got this fool who takes the shank. Anybody else up in jail that come up on the shank, they keep it for themselves. Bro go downstairs and break it. I can't believe <laughs> I don't know where, the, what time are we living in for real? I'm, I'm happy I got that out. out. I got that out the door. I got that out the door. Yeah, you think you did. I think I didn't make that. I don't, I don't you know. You think you got it? My guy know. made two of them. Know, but yeah, two of them. Did. Now, somebody came to me and said, hey, Carlos, he has a second one. That yeah, I now go. That's what I'm saying, bro. You up here trying to play, oh, I'm the CEO, grab hooty boo boop. You took his shank. But guess what, though? You take his shank, he get me mad you took his shank. When you took his shank, you broke it. 
But he got a second one. Now he finna come poke you for taking it. No defense for you. Keep it for yourself, stupid. <laughs> Keep it for yourself, stupid. Or leave the whole situation alone. People, <laughs> then you, how, oh, we are sorry to inform you, ma'am. Um, I know we came in. You're, you're. He did. He volunteered for 60 days in, took somebody else's sink, and they sank him. I, I, leave it alone. Leave it alone, for real. Who do he think he is, bro? You got another one? Get the out of here right now. You got another one? Why people saying you got when you're doing 60 days in, you go there to see if you can survive in the environment. You don't go there to be a CEO. I, I don't like him. I don't. I can, I'm about to start doing this for real, and I can't wait till we get slept. Somebody needs to sleep, bro. You going to jail trying to be all political and straight and holier than thou, bro. This ain't going to work. And he pressing busters. He ain't finna press a real. I'm telling y'all, oh boy, is scary. The black dude is scary. Then he got a scary person that he can control, which is his goon. I know fools like this. I will not. I, he got me. I do not like him, bro. I don't. And I'm it's kind of same person. You should talk to one nice man that could do it, bro. Don't do that, bro. So I'm packing up you out of here, homie. And if you don't want to get out of here, you can have to catch the fake. You can catch the fake. That's 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 on hundred. That's on my that's on my kids, bro. Let me <laughs> uh, Why I feel like he punking my brother right now, bro? Why I feel like he punking my little homie right now? Who is this one for real? He got me tight. You gonna have to catch a fade right now. I'm type of, that's what I'm saying. He know he ain't the real one. You up in jail, you tell somebody they gotta catch a fade. I wanna fire all you right then and there. No time to square. And I, mm, mm. I told him you're gonna have to catch a fade with me. That means you're gonna have to fight me. Such a bro. Bitch. Son, you got another one, get the out of here right now. There's a little one too. Where's the little one? You got the one I handed to you. Now they raiding his cell like they the CEOs. His little homie, his goon, whatever you want to call him, I think Bo with the business. He'd do it if you tell him to. But he about to turn him straight buster. Then y'all got up here bullying a little Tekka. Y'all got a little Tekka in the county jail and thinking y'all moving something. Bro, you ain't moving no mountains. You act like he really pressing buttons like he the OG of the pod. And he not. You just a buster, bro. I can tell. Bro, where you going, bro? Where you going, bro? Oh my god. Little does he know that I have enough respect in the dorm that once anybody hears that, they're gonna step up and take the fade for me. <laughs> Nick took it upon himself to, to step in on his own free will. What the hell? This is, bro, what am I watching? Somebody please tell me what I'm watching. This is jail where they push it around and they shove it. Where's the fuck? Bro, just pull it out and start hitting everybody with the blammer. Just pull, cause they obviously mad. They think he ain't, just, just. You know he's a buster. He got it on him and they still pressing him. Like, come on. I... Go to the room, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Now they telling. Oh my God. Oh 
Oh my, I can't believe this 60 days. These niggas right here, bro. And now they telling, I'm this, I'm that. How is that your goon and your goon telling? You taught them well, bro. You taught them well. Oh, no. How is that I your... I can't, I was, fuck them headphones. He, that's your goon. And he telling. Next video, bro, 100.